This week we venture three hours into the Southern Alps in New Zealand to photograph the rifleman birds of New Zealand with the incredible Nikon Z8 and the 800mm 6.3pf. Will I be quick enough to capture these little critters or leave empty handed and tired? Stick around to find out. Morning everybody, um, Bernie here. Thanks for tuning in again. We're uh, about two, two and a half hours into a hike this morning. Uh, trying to find some riflemen. Uh, so these tiny little birds, and if you haven't seen one, I'll show one on the screen now. Um, I've been to this location a couple of times before and it's been um, absolutely flush with them. So hopefully we're as lucky today as I was back then. And um, if we're not, there's plenty of landscapes to photograph anyway. It's just a beautiful part of the world. And um, it may not look cold because I'm wearing a t-shirt and a thermal, but it's, uh, I think it was at about zero when I left the car park this morning. And um, I've just been delayering through puffer, fleece, and um, beanies and gloves and whatnot. So uh, it's been very cold. It's warming up. I think as soon as I get to my location, I'm gonna have to start stacking on the layers again, as I can feel that chill starting to come back. So uh, we're about to arrive. So we'll get set up and then we'll have a look at what we're working with. This is what I was talking about. So the other two occasions that I've been here, um, it's been a lot later in the day. So the sun's been harsher. The birds probably haven't been as active, but we've still seen plenty. Um, it is a lot colder uh, than the last time. So I don't know if that's gonna affect our chances. Um, but as you can see, this place is just absolutely stunning. Just that bluish tinge in the water, crystal clear. Uh, it's just a magical place and this tree that I'm standing under now, uh, which you would have just seen, is just absolutely incredible. Alrighty team, now although we've come out here to photograph uh, riflemen, um, there, you know, opportunities kind of pop up all the time and one's come up, it's a landscape, which is what, not what we were going to focus on today, but it is what it is. Uh, and I've got the Z8 with the 24 to 70, 2.8, just there. And this is what we're currently looking at. So you can probably guess why I couldn't let this one through. You've got the light pouring through this section here. Um, you've got some nice kind of mist coming through here. The change in temperature. And then you've got these beautiful rock formations that are being backlit just on the, um, on the edges there. So <clears throat> I'm gonna stack this. Uh, we'll do a focus stack and a um, stack of exposures and you can see the composition we're working on the screen there so we've got you know the layering of rock in the foreground you've got the rock in the midground and then you've got some rocks with a couple little trees just on the top of them in the background so it's look it's not uh, award-winning but it's a nice um, image to kind of show the scene to kind of set off the morning and then you've got that atmosphere being created by that mist coming through the middle there uh, due to the sun hitting the colder ground inside of uh, um, the national park here. So um, yeah, a great way to start. I have been able to find a couple of riflemen. So they are here. Um, so it's just about getting the uh, the 800 on now, setting up and uh, trying to get those shots. So yeah, stoked to get that one out. Uh, hopefully it works with the focus stacking and the exposure stacking. Uh, we won't know until I get back, but if it did work out, here it is. This is the hard part. So we've uh, made a location. Um, I'm just now trying to work out the best spot to set up in because there's not a lot of opportunities here for, for blinds. It might be one of those uh, times where I take the camera off of the tripod um, and just go handheld and just have to run and gun because um, they're so small, they're so quick and, and they just dart about. So being stuck on a tripod, unless you're looking for just that one specific shot, um, can be um, your worst enemy. So I'm gonna try with the tripod first. I do wanna get some video. I haven't got any video of the, the rifleman, but um, 
it may not be the best way to go. So we'll uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we'll try with the the tripod, try and get some slow mo footage in 4K, uh, and then we'll uh, I might take it off the tripod and just go for a wonder and see if that renders better results. A few other things to note. Uh, last week I had the uh, the Benro tripod legs with a Manfrotto fluid head. Uh, which is great for, for video and to, to track the birds nice and slowly and get that nice movement. Just given the, um, the amount of walking I had to do and the, the trek in, uh, it, it was just too much for the bag last night. I just thought it's just not worth it. Um, so I've just gone with a, a very small bull head tripod, uh, which isn't the best option, uh, but it was the best option for the trip that I was doing. So I've made that compromise. Uh, I may end up regretting it. Um, but for me, it just made the most sense, um, but it was a pretty tough decision for me last night. So, um, so that's the way we're going to go this morning, and let's just hope it works and, and make the most of it. Case in point, I was on the tripod, uh, saw a bird. Instead of trying to make it work on the tripod, I just yeah threw the tripod away and went after it and got a, um, I think it's a ripper shot. It's a really nice background. Catch light in the eye, you know, a nice little tom tit kind of um, pointing in the opposite direction, but then looking back towards me. So uh, happy with that that image um, but again it all came down to ditching the tripod and just going handheld because sometimes you just need that versatility and because this lens is so light you can do that with the old 800 uh, 5.6s it would have been extremely hard to um, to just yeah, bounce the tripod and uh, and just go for it so yeah it's going to be a struggle though to get the video footage that I want but we'll see how we go Well, unfortunately, a large group showed up and started making a whole heap of noise, so I've uh, had to move on. Um, going to try and find another spot, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. We got a couple of photos that I'm happy with, but it's a real shame I started to draw some of the birds out, and unfortunately, um, they're all gone now. So we'll see. See how we get on trying to find another location. Well, it was a great start to the, to the day, but it's um, really started to slow up. A lot of groups coming through, and it's just a great time of year to be out here walking. Not too hot, not too cold, so um, the birds are starting coming close enough, unfortunately. So we're going to keep moving, but I'm going to be heading uh, out, and uh, hopefully we can uh, stumble upon a couple of spots, give them a go, and uh, we'll probably call it a day. But uh, yeah, got a couple of shots, especially the one of the tom tip, but um, otherwise it's been slightly unproductive. Some good news at last. Uh, no more wildlife or birds this morning, but I have found a really good location for a uh, landscape shot. So I think we'll be coming back here uh, pretty quickly, uh, especially when there's a bit of snow on the mountains because this scene behind me, or in front of me, will just be absolutely epic with the right lighting.
All right, because it's been a bit of a slower morning on the uh, on the photo front, I have just decided just to take the shot, just to record it uh, more than anything. And because the light is, um, you know, so high in the sky, I'm just going to do it handheld. Uh, so most likely kind of what f11 120 fifth of a second and i'll probably be shooting at 24 mil uh because there's a lot of foreground a lot of mid ground and obviously that waterfall in the background uh that i'd like to capture and um i dare say given the blue sky i'll probably end up turning this black and white uh but uh i'll probably have to take this one back to the uh, editing suite just to see how it looks Alrighty everybody, well look, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, if I find anything else, I'll, uh, I'll show it now. But, um, you know, it's been a good morning. It's always good to get out um, then uh, stay in bed and sleep in. The Z8 is just a phenomenal camera. Absolutely loving it. If you've got any questions about it or the 24-70 or the 800mm that I'm using, just fire them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, otherwise, I will see you next week. And... Uh, yeah, we'll probably do a little bit more uh, landscapes, maybe a bit of wildlife next week. We'll check the weather and uh, see what it looks like. So thanks again. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Cheers.